Chapter 1390 The Day of Return After being spoken to by Lin Ming, Si Chi never thought that he would bother noticing her. Her feelings towards Lin Ming were extremely complex. Although he was their enemy and she also hated him, she couldn't help but admire him. Although the fall of the Azure Divine Kingdom had been caused by Lin Ming, Si Chi also knew that this ending could only be blamed on the high-level figures of the Azure Divine Kingdom in the past. They had followed Yang Yun and had made themselves enemies of the world. My big sister is doing well. Si Chi said, somewhat indifferently. Facing her old enemy, she naturally wouldn't reveal the difficult lives they lived. In this point, Si Chi and Si Chi shared the same level of proudness. Lin Ming only smiled, not speaking further. He could imagine the destiny that the Si family had suffered and all the people that would try to push them down. In the past, the Si family had offended many people and had made many, many enemies. Although they should have also helped others in the past, human nature was capricious and fickle. When a family met misfortune, there would often be many people kicking them while they were down as opposed to helping them. Moreover, although the Sichu family had been destroyed, they would have inevitably left behind a great deal of wealth. This wealth was certain to be grasped in the hands of the survivors of the Sichu family, and others would definitely covet them. Lin Ming didn't seriously speak with the stubborn Sichu Yeoil. He only said to Demon Shine with a true essence sound transmission, Look after the descendants of the Sichu family for me. It seems that their days haven't passed in peace. Demon Shine obscenely grinned. You want me to look after them? Really look after them? In the past, the Sichu family hunted you down to the edges of heaven and the ends of the sea even forcing you into the 8,000 mile black swamp and then finally cornering you in the Forsaken God clan before engaging you in the life or death battle. And even so, you still want to treat their evil with kindness? Have you taken a fancy to those two sisters and want to bed them together? Demon Shine's tone wasn't proper at all. Lin Ming rolled his eyes, not bothering to bicker with him. I've never made it a habit to treat those who harm me with mercy. In the past, those from the Azura Divine Kingdom that chased me down have already died, and there is no need to implicate those that weren't involved. If this continues, then that will be a cause of karmic injustice. I cultivate the martial path and wish for my thoughts to be as clear as possible, with no debts or grudges lest I wet myself with karma. The cause and effects of this world are troublesome, but it is still something that I must sort out to allow my mind to reach perfection. Only like that can I gather the momentum of my destiny and continue forwards carefully. Lin Ming's theory of destiny involved karma wasn't something that was positively confirmed in the martial world. But, what he did know was that destiny truly did exist. Destiny and karma were closely intertwined with one's inevitable fate. In addition, every time one was victorious, every time one survived a dangerous situation, the faith in themselves that they carved in their bones would be even greater. Then, the next time they encountered danger, they would be far more confident and the chances they had of returning alive would also be higher. Demon Shine smirked. Che, how boring. Those two beautiful sisters could be so easily obtained by you and yet all you do is spout out a bunch of philosophical nothings. Well, since you asked me to, I will naturally help take good care of them. But, little Lin boy, I haven't been to the Divine Realm in a long time and would like to go back for a quick stroll. Is it convenient for you? Demon Shine knew that the price of going to and from the Divine Realm wasn't small and he was afraid that Lin Ming wouldn't be able to withstand it. Thus he asked such a question. Lin Ming smiled. No problem. Lin Ming's current wealth far surpassed most great world king holy lands. Forgetting the pills and jade slips that were left behind in Primordius Heavenly Palace by Empire in Primordius, just the demon spirit bead essence and the nine sun jade base beneath it was a nearly incalculable level of wealth. Lin Ming, Demon Shine, Lin Ziyoj, and some others left the giant crowd of people and began to fly towards the Vermilion Bird Divine Kingdom's palaces. As the crowd was left behind, all of them felt as if they were experiencing some ridiculous dream. Lin Ming had appeared too suddenly. For such a secretive character to appear out of nowhere, this left one feeling truly perplexed. After arriving at the Vermilion Bird Divine Palace, the first matter Lin Ming went to do was to visit his parents. Since leaving the Lin family at Green Mulberry City and going to study martial arts at the Seven Profound Martial House, over twenty years had passed, and unimaginable changes had occurred to him in this time. As Lin Ming recalled the road he walked, he sobered up. It was hard to imagine just how he had arrived at this step. On his road, there were innumerable moments of sadness danger, and even despair. He wandered the edge of life and death again and again, experiencing countless intense slaughter battles. In most of these fights, Lin Ming had defeated his opponents. But there were also many times where Lin Ming was hunted down by others and he would have to struggle through dangerous situations again and again. To walk down the road of martial arts was to battle the heavens. If one was content with their current situation they could easily live a life ten thousand times better than that of a mortal king. But for someone like Lin Ming, who only wished to seek the peak of all martial arts, his true companion during these many years was loneliness and danger. Such pressures and tribulations required a sturdy heart and mind to withstand. However, even though Lin Ming's heart of martial arts was extremely firm and resolute, it would still exhaust his mind if this continued for much longer. At this time, to enjoy the warm affection of family was the best means of treatment. This was especially true when Lin Ming saw his parents living an easy and comfortable life, looking much more lively and young than they did in the past. Just this alone was enough for Lin Ming to know that all the pain and misery he suffered was worth it. Father, mother, look who came back. Lin Ziyoj was shouting out loud like a morning bird. She crashed through the house doors impatiently relaying the good news to her parents. In the room, an attractive couple was sitting down, they both looked just over thirty years old, and the previous traces of work and exhaustion had long since been washed clean by all sorts of miracle medicines. Like this, it wouldn't be difficult for them to live for several thousand years. Father, mother, your child has returned. Dot. For the next several days, Lin Ming followed his parents and little sister, 
During these warm times, Lin Ming felt an inexplicable peace of mind. All of those restless killing intents that gathered in his mind slowly subsided, becoming much fainter. Lin Ming's battle spirit also seemed to loosen as if it would soon break through to the blue soul level. When Lin Ming was at the middle divine sea realm, his battle spirit had already reached gold perfection. As for the blue soul level, he still hadn't been able to take that final step even after all these years of training. But now, in these peaceful times, Lin Ming actually felt that the blue soul battle spirit level was finally entering his reach. Demon Shine, I've brought a body for you. I can help you possess it. Lin Ming called over Demon Shine. Mortal body? Demon Shine's eyes brightened. He had been without a mortal body for many years already. In the past, he had bragged that he was Holy Lord Demon Shine. But the truth was that he was simply making empty boasts. In truth, his strength had been located somewhere between the Divine Transformation and Divine Lord Realm, and without his mortal body he was only able to display an extremely limited level of his past strength. Take it out and let's see. Demon Shine's tongue lolled out. He panted heavily as he spoke with excitement. Lin Ming waved his hand. A barrier of Grand Mist space fell over them, isolating out everything. Then, he pulled out the body of the demon wolf he had captured. This fierce demon wolf had sharp fangs and a pair of knife-like wings on its back. As Demon Shine saw this, he was shocked. Holy crap. A three-eyed demon wolf. I am seeing things. This demon wolf not only has a body as hard as divine iron, but it also possesses a third eye called the Dvik Heaven Eye. It possesses the ability to understand the laws from birth and it also possesses an intellect similar to humanity. Its mental strength is particularly formidable. I can't believe you were actually able to find something so good. This sort of beast would fetch a sky-high price on the black market. Demon Shine didn't believe that Lin Ming had caught this demon wolf. Rather, he believed Lin Ming had bought it. But no matter how it was, this was truly a great mortal body for himself. Lin Ming said, Are you satisfied? Satisfied? Of course I'm satisfied. But, it's only that taking possession of this body won't be easy for me. No worries, I can help you with that. Lin Ming possessed a perfect gold battle spirit and also comprehended the divine dream law. His understandings of a soul had reached an extremely high level. It wouldn't be a problem at all for him to help Demon Shine take over the body of a three-eyed demon wolf. And in fact, with Lin Ming's help, the process of taking over the demon wolf's body was extremely smooth. A day later, a tall and powerfully built wolf that was larger than an ox began to recklessly fly above the skies of the Lin family's palace. The howls and unbridled cackles of the demonic wolf caused everyone in the surrounding area to stare in shock. Among these people were many high-level figures. As they felt the aura exuded by this demon wolf, all of them were secretly dumbfounded. Lin Ming had been back for just a few days. Yet he was able to so easily put forth such a terrifying demon wolf. Without a doubt, even if all of them gathered together they still wouldn't be a match for this demon wolf. Like this, a month passed. Whoosh. In the rear courtyard of the Lin family palace, the phoenix blood spear shot forth, controlled by the ruling spirit art. The spear seemed to have a mind of its own, deftly cutting apart a willow tree. With a sparkle of spear light, this willow tree was instantly carved by Lin Ming, leaving the image of a vivid, lifelike phoenix. This spear was able to destroy a 100,000 foot mountain. But now the spear light was being used to carve a willow tree and also produce such a fine and intricate design. This level of control was truly shocking. Lin Ming was using the ruling spirit art to temper his own battle spirit. He wanted to overcome the barrier of the blue soul battle spirit as soon as possible. Big brother, well done. In the rear courtyard, Lin Ziyod clapped and cheered out loud as she saw Lin Ming train his martial arts. Lin Ming faintly smiled. He turned to look at her. Standing beside Lin Ziyod were three other young girls. These three young girls were all her friends. And as girls that knew Lin Ziyod, their status was definitely not ordinary. Of these young girls, one was the princess of the Nine Furnace Divine Kingdom and another was the most outstanding disciple of the White Clan. There was even a chance that she would be a potential candidate to be the patriarch of the White Clan in the future. As for the last girl, she was the granddaughter of a Heaven Mirror Sage, who had already retired to his homeland. She possessed a variation dungeon and her talent was in no way inferior to Sichiyeo's. It was only because she was too young at 16 years of age that she didn't participate in Vermilion Bird Divine Kingdom's martial arts meeting. As they saw Lin Ming look at them, the young girls stumbled over themselves. The youngest girl's cheeks turned bright red and hot. The only reason they were able to enter the rear courtyard of the Lin family palace and see Lin Ming train was because they were Lin Ziyoju's friends. Otherwise, they would never have had such a chance. There was no need to mention Lin Ming's storied deeds and history. The young girls could only envy Lin Ziyoju that she had such a spectacular big brother. I heard that sage Lin will leave soon? A young girl whispered to Lin Ziyoju, That's right. My brother is returning soon. He'll be leaving tomorrow. Moreover, big brother has also promised to bring me with him. It's just that. We will have to separate. Oh. Hearing Lin Ziyoju's confirmation, the young girls were a bit disappointed. Just what sort of scene was the mythical divine realm like? They all hoped they could go and take a look. But unfortunately, they weren't related to Lin Ming. Like this, time passed until the next day. Lin Ming's brief adventure in the lower realms had lasted for over four years. And now it was finally time for this trip to come to an end.